My family was falling apart. My mother at that time was in and out of mental institutions. And my father was, was, um, was seeing another woman um, just a little bit older than me, um, seven years older than me. And my mother is in the background looking sh sort of stricken and it just makes me so sad. When I wrote my memoir, I dedicated it to my mother who killed herself when I was 12 um, because I knew that if I did dedicate it to her, rather than sweep her under the rug, I would be forced to really try to figure her out. I never really knew her mm -hmm. because she, she suffered from, well, they called it manic depression in those days. Now we say bipolarity. Um, and you actually found, you got her medical records. I got her medical yeah. records. And so writing my memoir, which took me five years, which I later discovered psychologists called doing a life review, and they advocate it for people who are suffering from depression or, or just older. What it does when you go back and review your life, but really dig in, not just then I did this and then I did that, but really, who were my parents? And it, it necessitates sometimes getting those photographs and literally looking at them with a magnifying yeah. glass and trying to understand what they mean. And then who were their parents, your grandparents? Why were they the way they were? How did they raise my parents? Why did, and when you can, through that kind of research, it's almost like being an archeologist, you, if you can come to answers, which I was able to do, you end up being able to say, it had nothing to do with me. Yeah. It wasn't that I wasn't lovable. They had issues. And the minute you know that, you can feel tremendous empathy for them, and you can forgive. Your son, Troy Garrity, is, in, is, in, is interviewed in the documentary. Yeah. And he says that he believes your relationship with your mother uh, was the defining relationship, or her suicide was the defining moment. And I was surprised to hear that, in, in a way, because I know so much about you and your father and about that journey. Um, but do you agree with, do you agree with Troy that that was, that that maybe was the incident of the relationship that had the biggest impact? It's, it's certainly had a big impact, but it's not just the actual act of suicide, it's what led up to it. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, if you have a parent who is not capable of showing up, not capable of reflecting you back through eyes of love, mm -hmm. it has a big impact on your sense of self. And as a child, you always think it was your fault because right. a child can't blame the adult. They depend upon adults for survival. And so it takes a long time to get over the, the guilt.